Welcome to my channel. My name is Tace, and in this video, I will explain the design and building process of the battery packs for my DIY outboard project. Batteries are everywhere in your car, in your phone, in your laptop, and now on boats. Being relatively new in the boating industry, this technology is very, very expensive. Like, a 5 kWh pack would cost about 5,000 euros, or 1 euro per watt hour. Later in this video, I will break down the cost of my battery packs, so you'll know how much 6.8 kWh worth of energy cost me to build. First, let's talk about the cells I use. These are 21700 cells, which means they are 21 mm in diameter and 70 mm in height. Their capacity is 4.8 amp hours each, and their discharge rate is 14.4 amps. I will build two independent packs of 3.4 kilowatt hours with 196 cells each. These cells will be arranged in 28 in series and 7 in parallel, which makes a nominal voltage of about 100 volts. Each pack will be equipped with a 100 amp BMS or battery management system with Bluetooth for monitoring. The two battery packs are in parallel, which means the outboard can run on only one pack, which provides redundancy. The other reason why I'm building two separate packs is because of the weight. Every pack weighs about 15 kilograms, which is almost too much to carry around, and I need to bring these batteries back home for charging purposes. The enclosures are built out of 5mm plywood that is glued together with second epoxy and reinforced with fiberglass. Let's get building! For the finish, I went with a white polyurethane paint, which is very durable. The lids will be closed watertight with screws and a rubber gasket. I also added a strong handle to carry the batteries around, and the area where the handles are screwed down is reinforced with more fiberglass. All the sails are prepared, checked, assembled, spot welded with nickel strips, and then everything is wired together, including all the balance wires for the BMS. You have your battery packs all set up and ready to go. They should be able to power my DIY outboard without any problem. But one question remains, how much did it cost? First, the 392 cells cost me about 1300 euros. Then, I got the two BMSs from a Chinese manufacturer for about 400 euros. And everything else, the nickel strip, the battery holders, the wires, the materials, cost me about 400 euros, which makes a total of about 2000 euros, or 30 cents per kilowatt hour three times cheaper than the batteries I could buy on the shelf. To install these battery packs on the boat, I just have to stack them in the watertight compartment. Then, connect the two QS8S connectors, and you're ready to go! Next video will be dedicated to the testing of the entire electric propulsion system. So stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed!